This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So what is pterygoid plexus of vein? Okay, it is a small uh, network of veins in the infratemporal fossa. You can see it is made up of numerous small veins. It is a network of small veins. It's mainly situated around the lateral pterygoid muscle. Uh, actually, if you remove this, you can see the lateral pterygoid muscle deep to the so the first is structure after you remove the zygomatic arch, temporalized muscle and remove the ramus, the first structure you will see is the pterygoid plexus of vein. Okay, so it is situated around the lateral pterygoid muscle. So actually it acts as a peripheral heart. You know one more peripheral heart. What is the one more peripheral heart? Anyone will answer for this. You can uh, share it in the chat box. Oh. 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 Oh, which one? Soleus. Very good. Very good. It is a soleus muscle. Okay. And uh, actually, this pterygoid plexus of vein also it acts as a peripheral heart. Uh, how it acts as a peripheral heart? So whenever you do the action of yawning, if you feel uh, if you are feeling very bored of my class, what you will do? Immediately you will get the yawning. Okay. So immediately what happened? So now the uh, lateral pterygoid muscle will contract. How it contracts? So you will depress the mandible automatically when you do yawning. Okay. So the lateral pterygoid muscle will contract. So now the blood which is stagnant in this area will be pumped to the other veins. Okay. So this is how it acts as a peripheral heart. Okay. Now if you see the tributaries of the uh, pterygoid plexus of vein, Okay, so whatever veins accompanying the branches of maxillary artery are, are our tributaries of pterygoid plexus of veins. Okay, so there is no specific name. So the arteries are uh, veins accompanying the branches of maxillary artery all are tributaries of pterygoid plexus of veins. And finally, this pterygoid plexus of vein drains into the maxillary vein. So the maxillary vein joins with the superficial temporal vein to form the retromandibular vein. So the retromandibular vein again divides into two division, anterior division and posterior division. The anterior division joins with the facial vein to form the uh, common facial vein which drains into internal zugular vein. The posterior division of retromandibular vein joins with the posterior auricular vein here to form the external zugular vein which drains into the subclavian vein. Okay. So this uh, venous drainage of the face is very important. Out of this, the external zugular vein is an important 5 mark percent. Okay. The pterygoid plexus of vein also an important 5 mark percent. Okay. So I think you are clear about the tributaries and the drainage. Now what are the communications of the pterygoid plexus of vein? Okay. So it communicates through inferior orbital fissure. It communicates with the inferior ophthalmic vein and through... Uh, uh, deep facial vein it communicates with the facial vein so other than this through foramens there is foramen oval lesirum and uh, spinosum uh, through emissary vein it communicates with the cavernous sinus okay so it has three communication one with the through inferior orbital fissure it communicates with inferior orbital vein and or uh, even inferior ophthalmic vein so it communicates with cavernous sinus through emissary vein uh, which passes through foramen lesirum ovate and through deep facial vein it communicates with facial vein from there it will go to the internal zugular vein so now that's why any infection in the face and the area surrounding the mandible and maxilla it will if it is not treated properly it will go to the cavernous sinus and leads on to cavernous sinus thrombosis so this is the applied aspect of the pterygoid plexus of vein. Okay, I think uh, you have understood about the pterygoid plexus of vein. So the important thing is it acts as a peripheral heart and it also causes cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay, so with this I'll finish the pterygoid plexus of vein. Do you have any doubt in this? You can ask now.